All right, another video for you. Um, this is custom firmware 6.60 Pro B9. This was just released. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to take a look at it real quick, but I'm going to see. It is a light custom firmware. So, um, yep, that's it right there. All right, cool. Now, well, I might as well minimize that instead. All right, so basically what I'm going to show you how to do is you can be on official firmware 6.60 in order to do this. Um, you can be on custom firmware or official firmware uh, installing this. So, um, if you're on official firmware and you want to install this, update to 6.60. Um, and then rule out from there. If you're on custom firmware 660 and you just want to update to B9 for some odd reason, which is what I'm going to do here because I'm running on uh, 6.60 ME 1.2, which I just updated that anyway. Um, which I might go back to this. I'm not sure how I like. I like ME better than Pro, but uh, that's for your opinion to decide. So uh, what I'm going to have you do is download this right here. I will have the official firmware update for you also if you need to update to 6.60 um, be warned the file I'm gonna have you download is named 660.pbp what you're gonna wanna do is rename that to eboot.pbp and put in an update folder to update to official firmware 660 or else it won't read um, but I'll have that written in the description below anyways um, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna extract these files or open it up and by extracting, all you got to do really is right-click on it, say extract files to your desktop, which all Windows Vista and 7 have extraction file uh, programs on them. Windows XP, you would have to get a third-party one like WinRAR. I just use WinRAR because it's easy. So what we're going to do is simply this. You're going to see inside the extracted files the CIPL flasher. This is for PSP 1000 and 2000 models only. What this does is it locks in the custom firmware. Um, and then the fast recovery flasher, this is um, flat, fast recovery is basically a recovery menu for PSP 3000, PSP Go models, things like that. Uh, so this is for the PSP Go and 3000 and 2000 version 2 parts. And then the pro update, here we go, what the fuck is SDK? Blah, 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 absolutely nothing. Okay, same shit that was there before. Anyways, um... So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to exit this right now and uh, go into USB mode on my PSP here. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to open that up. Okay, so let's see. Go to your computer and open up a removable drive for your PSP. I think I have an update in the game folder, so I'm going to, we're going to delete that. Okay, so let's go back to the PSP uh, memory stick root. So we're at the memory stick root on the PSP. What you're going to be looking at is this fun stuff right here. So what we're going to do is go in the PSP folder and the game folder. Now, this is very important. So what you're going to do is take the pro update and drag and drop that into the PSP game folder. Then what you're going to do is simply take the CIPL flasher if you have PSP 1000 or 2000 hackable models. Only the 1000 or only the 2000 is very important because if you use this on a PSP 2000 that's not hackable, 3000 PSP Go or the PSP Vita that's coming out um, in like October or something like that. Um, like 2012, which, well, we don't really have to worry about that right now. But anyways... Um, only use this. Oh, shut up. Fucking dick. Only use this if you have a PSP 1000 or 2000 hackable model, not a 2000 version 2, 3000, or go. So I have a PSP 2000 hackable, so I'm going to drag and drop that over there, just like that. If you have a PSP um, 2000 non hackable or or 2000 version 2, 3000 or go, you're going to take the fast recovery and drag and drop that over. But I'm not going to do that anyway because I have 2000. It doesn't really matter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to exit this free nice little screen here. And we can exit that. And what I'm going to do now is exit USB mode. Hit select here. 
And let's see. Reset my device here so I can show you what I'm doing on uh, the remote joy. Isn't that nice? Oh, oh God. That'd be a disaster. All right, so now, now that we got this up, what you're going to do is, uh, now remember, you can be on official firmware for this. What we're going to do simply right here is you're going to see, uh, if you have a 1,000 or 2,000 model, you're going to see the um, CIPL flasher for Pro B. Then you're going to see the Pro update for everybody, by the way. Anybody that does this video will see this. Now, if you have a PSP, 2000 again 2000 version 2 3000 and PSP go do not use the CIPL flasher I will say that five bajillion times in this video because I don't want you to break your PSP because then everybody's gonna be bitching to me well you said to do this and that no I didn't say do this or that I said distinctly what PSPs to use that on and what PSPs not to use it on so don't come crying to me if you break a goddamn PSP come crying to me and ask me politely for help and I might be able to fix it for you but if you start being a bitch about it I'm gonna say fuck you so there I spoke my mind anyways so first thing what you're gonna do is this is for all models this step right here is hit X on the pro update so you're gonna let the pro update run now this stupid thing is gonna shut down because it's gotta be in a flash alright let me see if I can get this up on the screen of course not all right, Pro B by Team Pro. Blah 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 blah. All right. Why is this never responding? Fuck you. Anyways, um, press X to launch custom firmware. Press Triangle to uninstall custom firmware. Hold L to reinstall custom firmware, and press R to exit. Uh, kill you, close this program, cancel, go kill yourself over here, no joy, awesome, I don't care, aha, there it is, <laughs> okay, so this is what your screen is going to look like, uh, Pro B, press X to launch custom firmware, so we're going to press X, <laughs> you're going to see it flash, all that nice stuff, do, do, completed, press X to start custom firmware, Starting custom firmware. Now I gotta reboot Remote Joy again. Um, um, can you like work, please, and thank you. Fine, Look this way. <sighs> Why do you gotta be gay? Okay, well, anyways, if you scroll over to system settings and system information, it'll say 6.60 Pro B9. <sighs> so, what we're gonna do now is Select. Uh, yeah, this shit's gay. Anyways, um, so come over to your game section, and what you're gonna want to do now is you're gonna want to use the Pro CIPL flasher. Now wait before you do that. Be sure you're on a 1,000 or 2,000 hackable model. If you're on a 2,000 version 2, 3,000 or PSP Go, this will break your PSP and you'll be shit out of luck. So. Make a long story short, I'm a PSP 2000 hackable model because I like the PSP 2000 and when you switch the RAM out it works really good. Basically what you do is just start that up. So I'm going to start that up. I'm going to exit that stupid remote joy bullshit. And I'm going to open up a new one. Maybe this might actually work. There we go. Custom IPL flasher for 660.
custom IPL flasher is installed. Press X to reinstall the CIPL flasher. Press O to erase the IPL, uh, CIPL and restore raw IPL. Press X or press R to cancel. Well, basically, you're going to want to reinstall this because it's a new firmware. So, reinstalling and it'll reboot in five seconds. So, I'm going to disconnect this for now. Let that reboot like so. Dun, 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 dun. And voila! Now, PSP 1000 and 2000 hackable models, your custom firmware is going to be locked in at dumb, drum roll 6.60 Pro B9. Voila! So that's how you install that. Again, if you have a PSP 2000 version 2, 3000, or PSP Go, this will work with the PSP Go. Just remember, you're only using this, the Pro Update. That's the only thing you're going to use. If you use the CIPL flasher on 2000 version 2, 3000, or PSP Go models, it will brick. Obviously, you can see I care because I've probably said that well over 20 times by now in this video. So, yeah, that's how you update to Pro um vsh menu kind of gay i think i'm gonna downgrade back to me 1.2 because it's a lot better and it's set up like m33 i like the m33 firmware they came out with gen and i was like oh this is cool and then three weeks later <laughs> gay so uh yeah um I will have the link for 660 Pro B9 for download, also a written tutorial on how to update the 6.60 official firmware so you can use this on your PSP 2000 version 2, 3000 and Go models as well as um, if you don't have custom firmware on PSP 1000 and 2000 hackable, you can use this because it's signed to install custom firmware on your PSP on 660. So um, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you guys. I will have the links and the description below this video in more information. So be sure to read that. And uh, it should cover everything. So uh, thanks again. And uh, leave your questions in my moderator for your questions answered. And yeah, more videos coming out soon. So yeah. Um, that's about it. And if you want to know how to use remote joint lie, like, if you want to know how to use Remote Joy, then watch my video because uh, I went around YouTube and like I've seen the videos and they're fucking garbage. <laughs> they don't explain shit. So uh, yeah, I mean yeah, there's a little like third things you got to do for Remote Joy Light to work like properly, which is like unplug the USB and exit it and then open it back up and shit like that but whatever point being it's awesome again the achievement of bam and what the fuck oh you stupid fuck goddamn fucking buka buka over down yes there we are that's your custom firmware for today in this video and more videos coming your way